welcome back to the channel. I'm here with Mark. We are picking up the XT, taking it back to the shed, and gonna start sussing out what we need for this for this build. And uh, so, as you can see, as you could see, we struggled to put it on the trailer because I lost Mick's trailer handle, but it's all good. So, this is it. We'll go through a bit more detail when we get back to the shed, and also we'll go and look at our engines. So, I'm gonna go see what we can get there. Tour back to the shed. All right, so we are at the F1 spares down here in Lonsdale, and we are taking a block to get checked through Dave. So it's a 460 big block. So we're gonna take that, get that checked, and then we're still weighing up what trains to go for C6 or a C4, but you can get a C4 bell housing adapter that'll um, sort of go to a big block. Um, so maybe we go down that way because they're a bit easier to find and, and build. So that might be the way to go. But yeah, we're just having a look around here at the moment. All right, g'day guys. Back in the shed, hanging out. Got a fair bit done today. Might not look like it, but uh, we did a lot of driving around and um, basically a bit of a recon day and we ended up picking up some parts. Like I said, we're at um, the F1 Spares down at Lonsdale there and Mark's, who's uh, hooked us up with a 460 big block. And we just went out and saw Dave and you start, we're starting to sort of get um, a bit of stuff underway and get a bit of a game plan. And like, like you saw before, we got the car here as well. And also uh, we've got a nine inch housing, so which is, which is killer. So we didn't have to make, go and rip that one out of that, my other F truck. So we've got that here as well, which is from market um, at the F100 spares as well. So he's looked after us huge there, but um, we gotta make sure we get everything, everything's all sweet. And then uh, we'll work out what we do with that. But yeah, we haven't really been over the car, but this is it. It looks a little bit rough, but it is a rock solid car. And going to be very cool. Definitely going to tub it. <laughs> Mark was just sort of blowing up, had his tape measure here saying he can't find any videos or any photos on anyone tubbing one of these or how they do it because we're going to do, are we going to, are we going to tub it? We're going to cut it up right here, are we? Yeah, I can tub it. Yeah, see? Mark, yeah, it's getting tubbed. Yeah, it's getting tubbed. Absolutely. But um, we just got to work out how we do it. So, but yeah, the car's pretty solid, but... And I'm very excited about this and I'll go check out all the other bits and pieces we've got here. So trim, rear seats, pretty pretty mint still. And then a bunch of other stuff. A bit of a tour here. Bit of a tour. Here's some of the trim. Trim is all mint. Yeah. Back seat is, that one's okay. We'll re-trim this. Yeah. Well, yeah, get some patch panels um, done on that. Um, this is all the trim that Andrea and I pulled off the car when we first bought it a couple of years ago. And um, we've sort of gone through this for the first time as well. Like, I, haven't, yeah. I haven't seen this in years. So we'll have a quick sus. Mark's left his bedding there. Yeah. So that one's the worst. We actually might even replace that one. Yeah. If we have to, but otherwise, like, all the trims are pretty neat. Yeah, man. Like, totally, totally usable for the car we're building. Remember, it's going to be patina, so it's... um it's somewhat of a survivor car. Yeah, exactly. A butchered survivor car. I wouldn't say butchered. It's going to be a... Uh, what have we done? That's tidy. That's good. That one's good. It's real nice. And the cool thing about this car is it's actually... A, Console, which I think is dealer fitted air conditioning in it with a um, color match console and stuff. So, yeah, we'll probably. I'd like to put air conditioning in it. Yeah, I'm a sook. I don't like the winter, uh, the summer. So. No, I think that's a must as well, especially if like we're going to do drag challenges and stuff like that. We need to be able to 
keep it nice, you know? Damn, they look good. Are they brand new? No, they're not new. They're just, uh, I think Andrew might clean them up. We just wrapped them up because... Hell yeah. It's actually a solid car. Like, people... It's hard, it's hard, like, it is, like, people won't know that it is just by looking at that, yeah. but... Someone that's built a car before should be able to see past this stuff, but for someone yeah. that doesn't completely know what's involved, it does look daunting, but it's a solid car. You have to look at the to understand how... Yeah, exactly. And the original one at the bottom, like, it's not messed with. Yeah, like, you can see how un unmessed with that is. That's yeah. the, the key. Just needs a little clean, you know? Just a little clean and a little bit of big block. <laughs> A big bit of big block. <laughs> a bit of big block, a big bit of little block. Yeah, it's going to be good. Yeah, absolutely. So we're obviously stoked about this and and have spoken to a few SA companies already. So we've got Jace, of course, from Tough Mounts, who's keen to do the mounts yes. and um, possibly trans mounts as well. He actually, I believe, speaking from Jace last week, he reckons he already does the, the, the big block into a Falcon, Falcon. off the shelf already as well as trans crossman now, I think he does as well. So. Yeah, which is awesome. And we're, I think we're going, well, for the transmission, we're gonna go with C4, possibly. We might be going C4, might be block, yeah. Yeah, so um, more modifiable and more heavy duty, and they don't love as much power as the yep. C6 apparently, and will probably be more cost effective than going down the route of like power, power glider. Power glider, so yeah. Tr we're gonna try and keep this level-headed yeah we're trying to mark's keeping me level he level-headed and, and um which he needs to do because i'm always like yes 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 and then halfway through i go shit and i'm poor <laughs> <laughs> he is not <laughs> but yeah so um this is where we're up to guys this is um um sorry spoken to dave lee as well he's engine building all the engine and stuff like that so that's going to be awesome he's going to kill the job Previously on um, on my dad's van with the with the ice ignition and all that sort of stuff, and he's done his stuff for Mark as well. So for me already. yeah, already, and um, he's yeah, he's di he's nearly just as, as excited as we yeah, are about Dave's this sort been, of stuff. Dave's been guiding us the whole way. Like he's my guru. Every time I have a an engine question, it's it's Dave straight away on the phone, and um, he's been guiding us with this. And um, he's super keen because back in the 90s Dave actually had an XC with a big block in it. That was his um, his toy of the day, and uh, he knows these things. Yeah, he knows how to build power, and this is the the old school way of building power. Yeah, and he he raves about it, just blowing the tires off everywhere. So <laughs> I'm super excited about that. Um, but yeah, and then I have spoken to Outlaws as well, um, and they're sort of they're interested and keen to sort of see what we can come up with to sort of help us out with the build and what expectations they'd be keen for. So that's that's something that's sort of in, in the works as well. And um, yeah, so we're trying to touch base with a bunch of SA companies, like we've said, and um, just moving forward. And we're gonna slowly, well, it's actually coming together pretty quick. So we're gonna, we're gonna try and do as much as we can very quickly. And, and also keeping all our other stuff going, you know, all the other junk. <laughs> but yeah, um, so. That'll be about it, I reckon. Any SA, automotive SA companies keen to jump on board and help get involved in this showcase of South Australian automotive building business. <laughs> We're real legit, you know, yeah. like, no, <laughs> no, exactly. And, jump and on board. Jump on board, send us a message, Mark at Iron Empire or uh, myself, Charlie, on Driving with Dixon, Facebook, Instagram, um, YouTube, you know, hit us up. We're, um, yeah, keen to sort of showcase what SA has to offer in the in the motor industry, and we know there's just such a huge, huge backing in um, in this. So, yeah. All right. Till the next bit, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Go check out Mark's channel, and uh, we'll see you next time. Better sign the wall, mate. <laughs> so Mark wants to add to my beautiful strips after I just did a little one in the ramp. <laughs> Thinks the XR, the 260 bolts. 
Hey? No. One is. Yeah, they're on now. Is that high beam? Go the other one? Yeah, it's sort of working, yeah. <laughs> Look like you got turbo, bro. Ready to roll, mate. Better get my Awesome. <laughs> 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 Jesus. <laughs> oh, my neighbors are going to hate me, eh? If they don't already, if they don't already. That did alright. That did alright. Was that just first? Yeah. Let me just go in a second. see what your marks are. That's yours there, eh? The skinny ones. The skinny <laughs> ones there. I don't even want to go into the shed because it'll be full. That's good. <laughs> okay. See ya. See ya, bro. <laughs>